Hey, welcome, welcome back. back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do here in the Backyard Diner. And today, we got another one that I am super excited for. Because, well, we've done a few variations of it. Yes. It's American meets Mexican, right? Right. Kind of, I guess. Sure. But I was going to say I'm excited for but I think I've said that in roughly 400 of these cooking videos. Uh, that virtually every video one. we're cited. Right. right. And if you have followed our channel for the past, I don't know, for the past little while, you've known we've gotten on this cheeseburger kick. A cheeseburger burrito, cheeseburger taco, cheeseburger cheeseburger. Burger. Cheeseburger Crunch Wrap Supreme. <laughs> and now, uh, finally, the, I was gonna say trifecta, but this yeah. is the fifecta, Qua, right? Qua, <laughs> the quint, the quint, 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 quint is the quesadilla. quesadilla cheeseburger. And we're super excited for this one, like I, I already said. <laughs> Cause who wouldn't be, right? But here's the deal, for the other ones, we chopped it up like we would taco meat and other things. Mm -hmm. This one, we're keeping it simple. We're doing yeah. a little bit of a smash style. Yes, this is a smash burger quesadilla. In other words, basically what we're doing is another excuse to make a smash burger and just use a quesadilla. <laughs> Twist our arm. Use, it, use a tortilla instead of a bun and that's really what we're doing. But Brett, let's yeah. talk about the groceries. Or why don't you show the groceries so we know what we're, what we're dealing here with we here. Here we go. Basically everything that you get in a smash burger. We are using one very large meatball. We're going to smash this. We're actually going to make one today for this. We have already fed the family, but we wanted to come and show you this cook really quick. So we're just going to do one. We are going to be putting, instead of a bun, we're using these Mission tortillas. As we are using the fajita size for this, but then ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, lettuce, onions, and tomato, not pictured, and pickles. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to put the tomatoes out. He's saying not pictured. I'm like, what are you talking about? Well, Brett's firing up the grill. I'm going to go ahead and get the tomatoes, and we're going to go ahead and get this cook on. Let's go. All right, so Brett went ahead and fired up. He had turned all three of these on. This started to cook hot, and I realized. We want this one all the way turned down to low. This is where we'll actually end up making the quesadilla. This one we turned off, so that way we will actually get our hot smash burger going right here. In fact, Brett, I'm gonna crank this one all the way up almost to high. Usually for smash burgers, you do want them screaming hot, but uh, we have found that we get just as good. We're looking maybe 500 degrees. I don't have the temp gun. We've done these enough to know. About 500 degrees will get it nice and perfectly hot for us. Also not pictured, American cheese. <laughs> American cheese, how did I miss all this? I know. So the way I do it, I put the salt and pepper on before, maybe a little more. Yeah, it's six ounces. That's a six ounce patty, by the way, about six, six point seven ounces to mm -hmm. be exact. We measured that on the Arbor Leaf scale. We love the Arbor Leaf scale. You can find it at Amazon, our link down below. Brett, go ahead. No oil or anything needed? Nope. No oil or anything needed. So we're going to let that sit for just a minute. Mm -hmm. All right, so like I had said, I actually got it wrong. The flame does represent the high. We double check that. That is just going to get it into where it actually is going to turn it off. So that is as high as it's going to go. We've got it nice and hot and ready to go. Brett's going to go ahead and lay it, the smash it down. It's on. Again, we're using the silicone to make sure that the metal doesn't hit. And he's pressing, but he's not smashing all the way through. He got it to where, Brett, like you said, it stopped, right? Mm -hmm. He's going to hold that for about 10, maybe 12 seconds, 13 seconds, because okay. we found you can do a little bit longer on this surface before you get the sear. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that is a big beast. old burger. That is what we call the beast from the east. <laughs> okay, so really? while that's cooking, because it is a bigger burger, we're going to watch for those juices to come through. Perfect. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead go on, and I'm gonna start building. Butter. Yeah, Brett, oh duh. So go. what we wanted, so this is actually low. I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit. Brett's gonna toss some butter down. So we'll get that going here. Okay, get that butter melted and we're good. So then what I wanted to do is we wanna make sure this whole thing stays bonded together. So we're just gonna use a little bit of the shredded cheese. We've already got the American cheese, but there's nothing better than mixing some cheese. So this is a okay. three cheese Mexican blend. Yeah, Brett, so Brett's gonna go ahead. Oh, look at that. Nice. Flippity doo -dah. We And we were talking about it. We didn't let it sit long enough and get scalding hot, which it happens, but that still is going to be a good juicy burger. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that cheese is melting. So Brett's going to get that as soon as he cheeses that up. Then we're going to build the quesadilla and then we'll uh, get the other side going. Okay, so we're just going to squirt a little bit of water here to steam it up. About 15 seconds. And that's gonna be good enough because that cheese is gonna continue to melt while it cooks. All right, so move that onto there. And then we're gonna start building our cheeseburger that right is here. Perfect. All right, dude, go ahead and uh, we got some lettuce. So this is just part of the B roll right here. This is just the build right here. That's it, dude. <laughs> We gotta do more easy cooks like this. Right? 
So we went ahead and diced the tomatoes, figuring it would be easier to get those all in here. Similar to, you, similar to what you would do on a quesadilla or a taco. Let me get a couple more here. Oh, there we go. We should have diced these, but that's okay. We need to put a little bit of the shredded cheese because when this melts on this side, <laughs> this is not <laughs> this gonna is hold together. Ridiculous. This is what we like to call in the business stupid. Okay, let's see how it is. Okay, it's perfect. I cannot believe it's this perfect. Oh my god. Look at that. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just gotta know some vibe. Striking the wind up post now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off, we've left the ground. You you gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance, you Well, there it is, and I'm laughing because just as I asked which one Brett's taking, he's like, I'm keeping my gloves on for this one. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Take Probably. whichever one you want, and I'm just going to be clean hands. <laughs> he is, because this thing's going to be a mess. Oh, Look at the size so of that burger. I don't know if you can see that. The burger? That's yeah, well. One six-ounce patty. the size of the quesadilla. And it filled that up pretty good, man. I could keep talking about it, or we could just Now let's eat. All right, so like we say, it can look amazing. Boom, it looks amazing. Absolutely. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Can I get a smell yeah? Oh, smell yeah, you can. Yes, but I can. This does not taste amazing, Brett. Then this was all, all for naught. Cheers, I'll eat to that, my brother. Mmm, <laughs> that butteriness. <laughs> That's what I was gonna mention, dude. How do we keep getting better at this? Kenzie's like over there waiting for hers. Okay, you come know, on. The difference between this, the burrito, and the taco is the butteriness. Yes, and it's like crunch that you get with. Yeah. The with the taste crunch wrap with mm -hmm. the oh I, was, I thought you were gonna say the crunch wrap what we got with that yes as well. when my wife taught me how to do these quesadillas it's been my favorite way to do it ever since i know a lot of people they just get it till everything inside is melty and even though you end up with a soft tortilla on the outside we don't like that we make sure we get crispiness on the outside tortilla and i gotta say the added cheese in there that goes with blended yeah. with the American cheese was perfect. Yeah, and it, it doesn't take away or anything necessarily. You get, you <laughs> definitely get the American cheese, the creaminess from the American cheese. Look at that onion just hanging. I know, out. Kenzie, how Kenzie is it? Kenzie is in pure bliss. This is her right now. It is so good. <laughs> Once upon a time, I had a quesadilla cheeseburger. <laughs> The end. I don't have one anymore. Once upon it's a gone. time, you took a bite Once of the cheese. Time. Yeah, because the rest is gone. Idea. I'm glad you love it. She is scarfing that down, which speaks to how good it is. Again, another banger for the Walt Twins food truck. Uh, hundo. It's got to happen. The the Pit Boss Sierra came through. This yeah. griddle Sierra, we're digging this more and more. Yes, the more we, we cook are. on it. To and, me, the best. My favorite part is the cleanup. Right. And super easy. So super far quick. we've gotten a lot of good feedback, some good comments, some negative comments, which we understand. And some of the negativity isn't negative. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's, you don't know. It's like not a fear of what you don't know, but when you don't know something, it's like, nah, I'll stick with what I know. Great, you do you. I will say this, this thing has outperformed my expectations so far. So far, yep, absolutely, uh -huh, agreed. I'm Absolutely blown, agree. I'm completely blown away. Mm -hmm. I really am. And I'm excited to see how this is going to withstand cook after cook, As am time I. after time. Because yep. the thing is, is Pit Boss is standing behind their product, that they're putting out a great product. Not just, this isn't just a whim. This isn't just yeah. a something that, hey, behind put us out there. too. So that's, <laughs> right. that's awesome. Right. So we're going to continue to knock these cooks out. We'll bring them here on the griddle. These ultimate griddles are absolutely fantastic. I'm blown away. Yep. 100% uh, so far. So good. So Delicious so good. good. <laughs> right. Yes. Cooking with CJ. We got a collab coming up. We got to do a collab on these ultimate Grills, yeah, man. Do. These are awesome. But if you did like this, make sure and give us a thumbs up. It's one way in which you can support us and what we do. We really do appreciate it. Yep. Also, if you want another way to support us, there's a link to our merchandise in the description below this video. Our merchandise is brought to you through Digital Promotions, who works closely with Crossroads Missions. And Crossroads Missions does amazing service work. In fact, a portion of all the purchases made through the Wall Twins goes to benefit Crossroads Missions and their service work. Man, we absolutely love getting to do this. And Brett, we also do have a Patreon. We sure do. Big shout out to our Griddle Entourage. Entourage. We love you guys so much.
much. And if you want to find out how you can support it through our Patreon, that is down below as well. Right. Thank you so much to our Patreons. We absolutely love you guys and the love and support you give us. And for you just for being here and watching this, thank you. We absolutely love that we have people who want to watch these freakishly identical twins, these knuckleheads cook. We love it. We love to cook. We love, we love to share them. Exactly right. And uh, and we and we love that you come back week after week just to show your support for us. We appreciate you for that. Right. Thank you so much. But Brett, let's get let's go ahead and get up out of here. I don't have any more quesadilla. Maybe I'll have to share some of yours if I want some more. This thing's ridiculous. <laughs> sure, it you is. You gotta make it's this. Yours, man. You, you have take... to make this. This was awesome. Give it of a try. Them, You'll give it one of these. And Which somebody... so undeemed, by the way, that what was like a Brett's flavor snap? Yeah. <laughs> There Love we go. It. My thing is that, um, and I would say, cause somebody asked which you like better, the taco or the burrito. The burrito blew me away because it was absolutely the, the most mouth-watering. Yeah. Yeah. This I would put right there with it. The taco yeah. was great, yeah. the crunch the wrap was great, but to me, between the two, the quesadilla and the, the burrito, or excuse me, between the, all the ones we've done, the burrito and the quesadilla are my favorite. Okay. This one is absolutely amazing. Sure. All right. Very good, right. man. Well, I think what sets this apart is the butteriness. Right. But I can't pick a favorite because, like, your children, you can't pick, you can't say which one. Oh, is that's not, you, you already told me what your favorite one was. <laughs> for another time. Not at all. <laughs> Stay tuned for part two. I'm just kidding. Aside from Like for part two. Right. Aside from come to make this banger, another food truck banger. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And to don't forget to like and subscribe. And grin along. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my face.